Hi everybody, and welcome to a reading for Scorpio. How are you going, my Scorpios? All right, we're going to get straight into it. I did um, a quick shuffle with the Neo Tarot deck, and this is what popped out. Let's have a quick look. Straight up, three major arcanas and one minor. Uh, so you may literally feel like the universe, your world, has got the reins. You don't. You could be pouring out a lot of emotions at the moment, trying to figure out what is going on. Why don't you have the reins of your life? But where you need to be pouring the emotions out is into yourself. Really important not to be downloading at the moment. If you're at a different stage, though, where you're actually figuring out that you're not impacting other people, that the difference it's making by actually pouring all that amazing Scorpio energy into yourself uh, is absolutely starting to rise your vibration and you're actually becoming a lot more intuitive because of it. Being in the darkness is a natural state for a Scorpio. And you've seen the ebbs and flows and sometimes you feel like you might operate from the worst times. But being a fixed sign, I think this change might have been started by you, but it sure feels like it's a little bit out of your hands by now. You desperately want to move on. Move on from all these thoughts that are going on in your head. A lot of thoughts. Six things that were said. You're really looking towards the calmer waters, but you sure haven't seen them yet. And you're starting to realise the daily things that bind you. The things that keep you in a really lower vibration. And you might be realising on one shoulder is that little devil and on the other is the angel. And the devil has got a little bit more bigger than the angel. The poor little angel's a bit beaten up at the moment. So I really do feel like you've had to get your tail out and you might be projecting that out to sort everybody else around you. But what the universe is telling you you need to do here is to pull all that amazing emotional energy back and pour it into you right now. It doesn't need to go outside of you right now. It could feel completely contrary to how you feel. But we'll flesh this out for you, beautiful Scorpios. All right. Thoughts. Happiness. So, yes, each day, literally, it's our choice to choose what thoughts we think. We're raised not to control our thoughts. A lot of the time in the Western world, they run amok. And you could be finding you ruminating over continually thoughts that actually really keep you in a really bad, negative place. Look at this. Literally feeling like you are being zapped of your energy and being kept in the dark. And out of this thing it says my thoughts create so what are you thinking mm. your thoughts are up to you it's up to you to choose what thoughts you think the work of louise hay and i'll give you a couple of affirmations is absolutely incredible to actually kickstart your mind into a positive state
This is all over a, a person that you truly thought was your one. And it's all got out of control. Now, when it was good, oh, my goodness, the passion. Incredible passion. But when it went bad... Get into it, Scorpio. Let's flesh this out. Oh, you want to talk, Scorpio, don't you? You want to talk. All right, let's get going. You want to talk? Creativity, express your soul through creative expression, gratitude, love, commitment, speak your truth. <laughs> this is exactly how you feel. You truly, truly, truly look at all these hands up in the air. You just want to. Raise your hands to the universe and go, what is going on? I don't get it. But you also want to raise your hands in gratitude for the lessons that you might be learning at the moment. You really want to centre yourself on this ground at the moment. Water sign, time near water is going to really help you connect back into feeling your yourself again. Also time in nature. But if you have a look at these three centre cards, these ladies are activating their heart chakra, whereas this guy's activating his throat. When you speak... Speak from a place of gratitude, appreciation for all that is within you and around you. Speak true love unconditionally. Now, true love doesn't necessarily have to be true love for another person, but if that's the case, that's the case. True love unconditionally for your existence, for the universe, for everything around you. Speak from a place of love and gratitude. It is important to say what you really feel. I think that's what's also coming about is not speak from a place of hurt and negativity, from the negative mind place. It's going to take a little bit of reworking the way you communicate. Hey, but you, you'll be able to flow with this, play with it. Treat it like a game. With each time you use more positive words and come with a more of a gracious and loving attitude to see the difference around you. But first and foremost, as I always say, make sure you are grateful and loving to you. A great commitment, of course, this can be seen as a partnership, but a great commitment is created over time and it can also be seen as, like with this card here, the Six of Swords, I sometimes see this as the feminine being helped to move on by the determination of the masculine side of the individual. The feminine side of the individual is being helped by that drive of the masculine side to get them out and get them on moving. Like this card as well, even the devil. Yes, it can be two individuals, but it can also be the duality. The devil on one shoulder the angel on the other, the masculine side, which has the drive, determination to do things in the world, the feminine, more receptive side, intuition side. So it's very important to balance yourself, come from a place of balance. Now, if you really need to do this, it looks like you are, need to pull back from commitments, as it says, it's created over time. 
working on ourselves can make the biggest difference to any relationship. And I think that's exactly what you're choosing. I'm going to have a look at some love blocks. I'm sorry, How to Love Yourself cards by Louise Hay. Woohoo, straight out. I let go of the past with ease. I trust the process of life. I affirm that I am now willing to release the need for any negative situations and conditions. Yes, don't put up with it, Scorpio. You are now willing to release the need for any negative situations. Don't put yourself in them. If other people want to do their negative thing, let them. Let them do it over there. Hmm? I accept all of myself, warts and all, tail and all, good and bad. I work to do on, I uh, sorry, the work I do on myself is not a goal. It is a process, a lifetime process. Commitment, a great relationship is created over time balancing the masculine and feminine sides of yourself raising your vibration into a state of gratitude and love it takes time i choose to enjoy the process yes don't beat yourself up if you know one day you don't feel all light and love and the next day you do and you know it's not all light and love there's the shadow as well Any more guidance for Scorpio, please? Thank you. This card's coming out for everybody. And I think it might have also come out for your May reading. Um, you can check that out. I'll link it for you. Um, getting the reins of your life. And also realising just how tenacious and how um, incredible the journey has been. And balancing up the duality. So if you feel that your intuitive side, emotional side is, is running the show a bit too much, get the masculine side on board and get some planning and organisation. Vice versa, if you feel like you're literally analysing yourself into a corner, might be time to step back and hook into how your heart feels. The other thing I also get from um, this beautiful lover's card even though it is a darkish card, it just doesn't feel dark to me at all. People can literally be a mirror for us. You can see, look around. What do they say? The five people closest to you are a reflection of yourself. So have a good look at the five people closest to you. Do they inspire you? Or are they dragging you down? Are you having to defend yourself? And, you know? And if the five people around you are literally people draining your energy dry, which could be the case, time to actually pull your energy right back into you. All right, any more advice for Scorpio? So that's the way the devil works too. Really preys on emotion. So if you have been pouring emotion out, the way the devil works literally is it gathers that information and then uses it against you at a later date. Now, I can gather that information. The evil type of energy can gather that information. It's from other people. Other people, you know, good intending people can come in and try and, you know, fight, you know, give you information or you can pour out all your emotions of what's happening in a scenario and the next thing you know it's gone back to the person you were speaking about all those like gossip type things any type of gossip or anything is very negative so just be aware of what you're pouring out
I think you really had a vision of what you envisioned your life was going to be when you were smaller. And yeah, some parts of it are looking pretty much like you thought they might. A lot of it's looking nothing like it. And it's around, definitely around a partnership. One person gave a lot more than another, that's for sure. Another person, the one side of the scenario here looked to be quite distant, whether emotionally or a bit checked out. And if one person's not equally in the relationship as well as the other, it becomes uneven. So this led to great heartache. Now, that is in the past. What these cards are trying to tell you is it's now time to pour all your energy back into you. Don't go pouring your energy out either to try and justify or whatever to this other individual. Because you need to love you right now. You need to make a commitment to yourself. Everything you do is a choice. So you are in control of your reality, even though you might think it feels completely out of control. It's the thoughts you choose and believe. And that's the probably the pivotal thing about it, believe right now, are forming your experiences. So now it's time to listen to what you're actually saying in your mind, in your head about other people, about a scenario, about the whole thing. And do not say anything that you do not want to become true. Massive, hey? And what it's going to take is actually you taking some time and really checking in with your own beautiful, amazingly gorgeous large heart. And I say that with absolute love because I've got many Scorpios in my life and they sure have a massive great heart. All right. So figuring out what's right for you. Figuring out what you are saying in your mind is going to be the key to this scenario. Time out. Check in with your heart. Once you've done that, then speak your truth. And it will be your truth. Fabulous. All right. I'll get you a little bit more advice here. We might just go with what have we got here? Ooh, choices, choices. We'll see if there's anything more from Louise. No? Okay. <laughs> I, uh, this popped in actually, and this is actually from Louise's work, and it was yesterday? No, a few days ago. And uh, it's a calendar that she actually has, uh, which is a... a an old school paper one where you rip it off. And this was sitting right next to me because those cards didn't speak, but this colours grabbed my attention because it's a very similar, similar colour scheme to what you have here. Now, the day might be relevant. Absolutely. But I think what it says is a more relevant thing here. It's time to laugh at yourself and at life, Scorpio. Nothing, and we mean nothing, can bring you down. And you know that. Hey, you always rise to the top no matter what. 
So don't worry about pouring all your energy out to this scenario. It's just draining you dry. Pour into yourself. Make sure that you love and appreciate yourself. Don't go telling it, you know, every, everybody everything. Watch out for gossip. Because the thoughts that you choose and believe right now are forming your experiences. It's now time to listen to what they say. And do not say anything that you do not want to become true because it really is truly time to lighten up. It's time to laugh at yourself and at life because, hey, it's, life can get too serious, man. Nothing can bring you down, Scorpio. You got this. I really hope that helped. I love you all and bye for now.